Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very interesting that is how to automate file uploads on Chrome or Edge browser using Excel macros. In one of my previous tutorials, I had explained the same thing using Internet Explorer browser and today I would be explaining it on Chrome or Edge browser. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So as always, let's first see a demo. So here I am hitting the play button. After the demo, I'll actually write the script and explain you. But does, let's just begin with the demo. So you see the site is coming up. This is the Chrome browser. You could see it has opened the dialog and now it will put the sample file. And now you can see at this part sample.pdf. So this was the file which has now got uploaded. So how this happened with the help of Excel macro I'll be explaining in detail in this tutorial. So let's start writing the script. We'll go back to the VBA editor. I'll stop this execution. I will create another module in which we'll write the entire script. So the initial part of the script, I'm just copying it from the existing code. Pasting it here, it should always end with an end sub. I'll just rename to file upload one. Okay, now very important thing. These lines of code which I am highlighting right now, these have been explained in detail in my previous tutorials. I have explained all these using Edge and Chrome browser in my previous tutorials. The links to, to those tutorials are present in the description section. So people who are using Chrome and Edge browser automation using Excel macros for the first time, I request you to please go through those tutorials. All these steps are explained in detail and then continue with this tutorial in which we would be uploading the files on the Chrome or Edge browser. Okay, so moving on, uh, what these steps are doing is like it is launching the web page where we have to upload the file and at this point we are clicking on this button. I'll show you what is this button. If you go on to this website, this is the file upload button. If we inspect the properties of this button, we are using its ID to actually click on it. So you could see the ID of this button is BTN attachment, which we have used over here. So when this line of code is getting executed, it is performing a click like this. The file explorer comes up. Here we have to provide the part of the file which we want to actually upload. These steps like pasting the file path like we could have any file path we will have to paste the file path over here and then click on the open button. Once we do that the file will get uploaded. So these steps of providing the file path and clicking this open button is a bit challenging. Why? Because this is the Windows control and we cannot use any web automation. In fact we will have to use some Windows scripting to actually achieve this. So let's go back to our VBA editor and write the script to achieve file uploading on Chrome or Edge browser. So let's continue from this point. So whenever we are trying to upload any file, we should know the location of the file. So at this point, I am creating one variable str file path. You could have any variable name of your choice and I'm providing the entire file path over here within this variable. You could see the file path is enclosed within double inverted quotes. So whatever is your file path, you should provide like this and store it in any variable. I am storing it in str file path. So once this variable is ready, we can move on to the next step, which is initiating the Windows shell object. The syntax goes like this. It is set set. This is again any variable name of your choice. I have given it as WSH shell. You could give any name of your choice is equal to create object w script dot shell. The highlighted code should come as is. So once this line of code will get executed, the shell object will get initiated and we would be able to perform the steps of copying and pasting the file path in the file explorer window. Next line of code is the most important line of code in this script. We would be using this WSH shell object like this. So I'm using WSH shell dot run and within double inverted quotes I am providing this command. So you should use this command as is. I'll explain you what is happening over here. So this command is actually performing a control C within the memory. 
So whatever is provided over here, this variable str file path, str file path is storing the location D Excel automation blah blah blah. So when this line of code is getting executed, whatever is provided within this variable is getting stored on the clipboard. So this line of code is actually doing a control C and storing the location of the file which you want to upload in the clipboard. So you could just see how I use this command w shell dot run within double inverted quotes command dot exe slash c echo then I have provided the file path. Do not forget these ampersands else your command would not work and your script will fail. Then this is the pipe operator clip then these parameters 0 and true. You should use this line of code as is. This is very important. So once this line of code will get executed, the location of the file which you want to upload in our case, this location would be stored on the clipboard. So what would be the next steps? If we try to perform these operations manually, so here we have already copied the file path in the memory. So if I want to paste it here in this text box, I will do a control V. So once I do a control V, the path will automatically come in this text box. So we have to replicate this control V using a script. The code to do the control V operation goes like this. We are once again using the shell object. This is the same shell object. This time we are using W shell dot send keys within double inverted quotes. This caret operator, the curly brace, V again curly brace close and close the double inverted quotes. So this line of code is equivalent to hitting a control V. So the highlighted line of code will do a control V. What I need to do after performing the control V. So let's try to simulate that manually. So this was the file explorer. We did a control V like this. Now I want to somehow click on this open button and my cursor is blinking over here at sample.pdf. So if I hit a tab if I do a single tab, you could see the focus has moved onto this control all files. If I hit another tab, the focus has moved onto this open button. And at this point, if I hit enter, my file gets uploaded. So we have to hit two tabs and one enter using the W shell object. Now we'll write the script to do that. The syntax goes like this. So after control V, I'm pasting this code. You could see once again, I'm using the W shell object, this time using send keys. And now I'm using a tab. So this is my first tab. Then I'm putting some delay. Make sure you have some delays, else it may create some problem. So this was the first tab, some delay, another tab, again some delay, and finally enter, and some delay after hitting enter. So this is my entire script which will be performing the task of uploading a file on the Chrome or Edge browser. So the script is ready and if everything is fine, the script will run and upload the file. So let's execute this and see what happens. Now I am hitting this run button and let's observe whether it achieves the task of uploading the file automatically. So the web page has come up. And now it has entered the file path. It is hitting tab. Now it is on open. The enter is hit and it has come to the breakpoint. But if you would see over here, the file has been successfully uploaded. So this entire script is working as expected. It will automate the task of uploading the files on Chrome or Edge browser. I am using Chrome over here, but you could very well use the Edge browser. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. This entire script is available on the same blog. I'll show you. You could go over here and here automate file uploads on Chrome or Edge. If you go over here, it has all the step steps, the prerequisites as well as the entire code. So you could use this script and automate the process of file uploading for yourself. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my tutorials, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.